Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 14th of March. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather nice again today, but a big warm-up kicks in tomorrow and maybe a strong storm or two early next week. So let's get in there and discuss things. We'll start with the sky cam shots around the network early this morning. Uh, these were captured at the uh, somewhat ridiculous hour of 5 a.m. That's the uh, Jasper Sky Cam as seen from the King Building. They are sitting in the upper 20s. That's the Coleman Sky Cam. They've got 29 in Fayette, 27. That's pretty cold for mid-March. Big trough over the east responsible for the cold air. It's progressive. That means it's moving on. There's a look at some of the pre-dawn temperatures at the official reporting sites. 20s to the north, 30 for Birmingham. And around the nation, pretty cold over the east, but we start to warm up later today. In fact, there's a look at the uh, temperature plot over the next seven days. We'll be in the 70s tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. Delightful. Uh, Monday should be pretty mild with 70s likely, but uh, then after that, we drop back in the 60s. Not by much, a little bit uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. There is a red flag warning for a pretty good chunk of Alabama. The county's there in purple. That's for the high wildfire danger because of the very dry air. And some winter weather issues around North Dakota, but that's about it. The nation fairly quiet. And this is the rain over the course of the next five days, suggesting rain amounts of about one-half inch for the northern half of the state, and that would be Monday and Monday night. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the OZGFS, valid at 12, 1 o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon. Or I'm sorry, today. Uh, big trough over the east, northwest flow aloft, dry air. Should be a nice day. Highs mid to upper 50, still below average, but not as windy as yesterday. Tomorrow, we'll start the day around 40, and then we warm up nicely. The high should be in the low to mid 70s. Same thing on Saturday, just a glorious day. In fact, the GFS is showing 76 on Saturday. If by chance we can achieve that, that will make it the warmest day so far this year. Sunday, rain north of us with a surface boundary. Uh, but down here, we stay dry, and we stay very mild. The GFS is at 75, and uh, Monday is an interesting deal. Uh, we've got a, a strong shortwave well to the north. Down below that, the surface low is near Green Bay, Wisconsin. Cold air f uh, flooding in behind the cold front there. But around here, it's going to be very, very mild, if not warm. The, the latest GFS is now showing 78. We could flirt with 80 on Monday. And then Monday night at midnight, the uh, cold front comes in with a, a batch of showers and storms. Uh, the surface low is pretty far north, thank goodness, with the upper support. Because look at this. This is the instability Monday evening at uh, 7 o'clock local time. And, uh, you know, you're talking about flirting with 80. All of a sudden, the idea of unstable air is introduced. In fact, you can see over parts of uh, uh, east and southeast Texas some extremely unstable air. And up into Alabama, the lifted index goes down to a, uh, you know, minus uh, three to minus six Monday evening. So, hey, that means the air will be very buoyant. The air parcels will rise easily and freely. But with the surface low and the upper support so far north, the big shear values are way up north. So it's almost like a summer deal with unstable air, but uh, not much in the way of dynamic support. But clearly that could open the door for a strong storm. Uh, Monday or Monday night, the main threat would be from, uh, you know, gusty winds, kind of like a summer afternoon storm if they happen. And then Tuesday, everything's out of here. We turn cooler. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, see a high in the upper 50s Tuesday. That's pretty good cool air advection. Uh, the sky will be sunny. Uh, Wednesday of next week, we're dry. And a week from today, moisture is back. And we might see some showers developing. A deep surface low is over the Plain States. And that might open the door for some strong storms over the Mid-South, places like Memphis, the Mississippi Delta. So we'll keep an eye on that. And we stay kind of unsettled through the beginning of that next weekend. In fact, this is Saturday the 23rd with a cold front coming in. That looks wet. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 29th. And again, uh, we're kind of breezy and unstable with storms up north. So uh, you can see that uh, we're definitely trending warmer and maybe more stormy over the latter half of the month of March now. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Due to travel, just one video today. I'll be over in Oxford 
this afternoon uh, helping to program weather radios at the Publix there. So if you need help, come see us. We'll be there from 3.30 until 6.30. Otherwise, you can watch us on television this evening, the live stream, or the television side, ABC 3340 at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Next video here by tomorrow morning at 7. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.